Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing um, a hunting guide on North Wing Because I know once you join in North Wing like hunting can be pretty like overwhelming and stuff So this video is just going to kind of like cut it down into different parts and stuff and how to do it And I'm going to show you guys like the different spawn locations of all the animals so you know which ones to get and how to level up fast and stuff okay, So if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe and Give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it, and yeah, let's hop into it. Okay, hey guys, I'm back here, and now I'm going to show you the different spawn points of all the animals in the map. So, first of all, the first thing is that there's, of course, a very obvious spawn point right outside of James Bay. You have this big section of all the animals right over here, and you have the rabbit spawn here. So, a what any kind of rabbit, rabbit here, I believe, and then a deer spawns here. So you can probably hunt this deer, get a kill, and then start going back and forth between these. If you're a pretty new one, you should level up pretty fast. And then once you get up from that, I probably recommend you probably come over along Bears Mall to the Twin Peaks area. Because then you have like all the wolves and stuff spawn here. And you also can have the key here, the rabbit and the wolf, so wolf spawn here and stuff. And also I just I just recognize this. So if you come down here, if you come out straight out of James Bay and turn a right, so Clifford's Cave, cave i believe that's where the bear spawn so you can find some bears there and grab pick some up and also let's say like there's the wolves here basically a bunch of different spots but the ones that you can focus on is when you come out of st paul as well let me find st paul st paul's like right around this area the deer spawns too so you can find deer there um deer here in moose valley obviously there's mooses that spawn here i believe and then this is where the bears spawn and yeah, that's pretty much the entire map. Um, I'll, I'll try and leave this download link in, in the description um, so you guys can see it. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much this. So yeah. Hey, hey guys, so I'm back in James Bay right now and I'm gonna be showing you like the leather working and stuff. So professions, of course, every video we focus on a couple of professions or two selected professions. So today we're gonna be focusing on hunting and um, what is it leather working so yeah um so as always you're going to hunt the pelts and once you hunted the pelts you just come over here to this little shop right here with the tanning rack and you just um you just craft all these different pouches and stuff many different you can craft always when you're getting the pelts if you don't need like anything i recommend you just craft like the most highest tier stuff i usually craft fur kills because these give you 100 um leather working xp so for example i'm just going to craft a couple of these let's see Oop, let's craft a couple of these. See, 200. So that's pretty good. And if you have rev pouts, just of course craft all these. If you have any gray ones, yes sir. Craft all these. And gives you all the XP you need. And I'm super close. Look at that. To adept. Um, but yeah, the more you the more different pouts stuff. So you got fox pouts and stuff. So there's a bunch of different ones. Um But yeah. So um basically you just need different pelts and stuff to craft different stuff so different stuff needs a wolf pelt let's say leather and once you get um once you get pelts and stuff you can craft them into leather and stuff to actually make hats like a string hat tall hat belt hat cavalier hat flat hat all these different hats but yeah that's pretty much leather working and also if you want you can come over to this lady over here wait let me drop all this stuff because i do not need it at all um, don't waste your time trying to sell it to people. Just drop it on the ground straight away if you're just trying to farm XP like I am right now. Um, but once you got all that stuff, just come in here to this lady, Maria Clark. And she sells different, um, leather working and stuff. Make sure you also, when you're hunting, make sure you have a knife and a weapon. Oh, it's never in stock. Um, but yeah, this is a very rare backpack. You can craft it at, um, expert or master, I believe. What's the highest profession again? Stupid master. There we go. You can craft it as master. Um, but yeah, she sells all these different backpacks. Um, sometimes if it's cheaper, just craft it yourself. She sells cloaks, that stuff. Um, large fur cloak, bear hats, wolf hats, all that, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so she pretty much sells all the different leatherworking and stuff. And really quickly, um, actually I'll just walk over. But if you come over to james bay like right next to here just over here there should be a rabbit that spawns i believe so yeah let's just hop over to that so um 
Usually I also recommend you crafting a stone spear or whatever. Maybe a gun, a bow. I like using spears because you can just throw them like this if you hold F. Um, but yeah. That's why I like using stone spears. I don't know if someone farmed this already, but if you just come over here, you should see the rabbit, I believe. A rabbit spawns here. Um, I think it's already been farmed. But usually a rabbit will spawn here and you can just like one shot kill it. It spawns right up on this hill, I believe. So just right in this like proximity. Um, but yeah, that's where the rabbit spawns. And really quickly, I'm going to show you the hunting spot outside of exit. Outside of the James Bay exit so you guys can see that and learn how to do that. So yeah. Okay guys, so once you're outside the exit of James Bay, you will just come over here to the right. And as I explained in that little map section, there's a rabbit that spawns over there, I believe. And rabbit here and a deer. So usually what I'll recommend is you get your spear out or whatever weapon you have chosen. Um, but you just come over here and you should just be able to run over here and grab the rabbit that spawns here. One big thing when you're hunting is be able to predict where these things will run to once they're frightened or something because if you can predict where they run to then that'll be give you a huge advantage over them um but doesn't look like the rabbit is here it looks like it's strayed but as you can see the deer is over there um i'm gonna go hunt that and show you guys how to hunt that um personally i'm using a stone spear so it takes two hits to kill a deer and one hit to kill a rabbit but yeah Let's, let me just show you how to kill this thing. And don't get too close, of course. Otherwise, it will run away and they run so fast. You guys have no idea. Um, stop about here. And try and gauge about where to throw your thing. No, I didn't hit it. Wow. Okay, I threw that way too far. And don't be afraid to run close to it. Sometimes they'll run right at you. So, yeah, it's not too hard if you don't if you miss your shot. Alright, now it's staying in a straight line, so this shouldn't be too hard to hit. I don't want to risk that. No, if you if you, if you can't, if you don't think you're gonna hit it, then don't risk it. Cause often the um, if you can hunt these things more efficiently and stuff, then you're gonna waste less time doing it. Okay, I hit it. I think I did. Right? Is it bleeding? Yeah, it's bleeding. Okay. No siree. Okay, so once you got it, um, clip your spear and grab your knife and just loot it. And you'll get two antlers and two pieces of meat and a deer pelt. I recommend you get a pretty fast knife. A friend gave this knife to me. It's a superior hunting knife. It can't be looted, but he gave it to me. See, you got two pieces of meat and two antlers. Don't take the antlers unless it's for a contract. Take the meat because they give you food, as you can see I have here. I have the cooked rabbit meat and cooked deer meat, I believe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what you use that for. Um, so once you have had all this meat and stuff, you can start farming this rabbit over here. And I believe there's a rabbit that spawns right over here. So you should just be able to grab it and start farming up the deer again. So let me find my spear. Okay, here it is. Um, where is this rabbit? Okay, so guys, sorry for the word cut, but I had to stop and start my recording again because I was taking a long time to find this rabbit. But as you can see, I see a rabbit here. It took so long to spawn. Oh my goodness. Um, let's reset this up. So yeah, so the rabbit spawned over here and it just takes one shot with the spear to kill him. A throw shot to be exact. This is easier for you. Boom. Okay. Let's hop in here and grab it. All right. And it'll drop um, one gray pelt, two pieces of meat, I believe, if I'm correct. Should be about, let's see. Come on, um, let's see, where is it? There it is, yeah, okay. So two pieces of meat and, and a gray pelt. So yeah, this is where one of them spawns, one of them spawns here, and then another one spawns over in this area that I showed. But for some reason, it's not spawning, so yeah, I'm not going to show that, but uh, but just watch it. Just know that it does spawn there, and just search for it. If you can't find it, then just search a little bit harder. But yeah, you should be able to find it pretty easily. And now, let me just show you guys the Twin Peaks area. Yeah.
Okay guys, I'm back at the Misty Glacier, and this is another one of the spawn points for different animals and stuff, and as you can see, there is about a wolf, I believe, right there, and yeah, uh, I'm afraid to get close. <laughs> um, I can't skin wolves, so you have to get, like, adept, um, wood, um, hunting, I believe, to actually get these wolves, like, pelts without being destroyed, um, but, oh dear, oh dear, here we go. Oh, that hurts. That, that, that hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> no, 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 please, 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 please. Okay, it's gonna hurt me. Okay, then I just heal up. Be very, 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 very careful. I emphasize extremely careful when you, when you find these things. Because they can be so vicious. Okay, take three hits, two throws, and one hit. Alright, so be extremely careful, guys, when hunting these things, because you can they get killed so easily. It's not the smartest idea to use a stone spear on it, but I'm just using it because it's easy to craft. But yeah, I got the gray wolf pout and the wolf teeth. So they dropped two wolf teeth and two meat. And one spawns here, I believe. It's randomized what kind of pelt you get. Um, but yeah, it spawns there. And once you can skin that then you might want to start working away with like the moose and the actual um actual bears and stuff so i believe the twin peaks is just around here so i'm going to show me getting over here um because i don't want to leave i know these videos are always kind of long but i don't like to leave out too much important stuff exactly so that's why i always make these videos kind of like really long about 20 minutes long or something but yeah and this is the twin peaks area i believe you can find the beavers here if i'm correct fall damage yeah careful when navigating these terrains and in here is a cave you can hide just in case if you loot someone um you get a bounty you can just hide out there wait for it to go away then just reset of course all right see that there's a beaver okay so beavers spawn around here here and they'll be usually drinking in the water um, I've never hunted a beaver before, but, um, let me show you guys what they actually drop. Let's see how many hits it takes. Okay. One throw. How many throws? Two hits and it's dead. Alright, let's try and skin it. Um, I don't know if my proficiency is high enough, but let's just see. Um, I believe they drop a pal, two pieces of meat, and maybe those things on their paws i believe they actually get it without damaging it Oops. Let's see we gotta navigate okay two pieces of beaver meat and the beaver pelt yeah so uh, yeah that's not too bad um i think one spawns here in the central bay area um but be very careful when swimming across these areas um let me see i believe let me see, where's the Twin Peaks? I believe Twin Peaks is in between there. But yeah, as you can see, I showed you guys like the wolf spawn area and the beaver spawning area. And there's St. Paul. Um, but yeah, once you get to St. Oh, no, that's Forester's Grove. Sorry. That's where the ma ma mahogany spawns, I believe. And different stuff like that. Um, let me just um, cut to me getting over here. So you guys don't have to see like the track, but it's usually just around here, I feel like. So yeah Okay, hey guys, I am back and I'm back at the plateau the Champlain area st. Paul is literally just up there um, I might kill this guy because I want some loot But in the foresters grove there spawns a fox. I believe like black foxes and stuff uh, But usually that's where they spawn. Um No, I'm not gonna kill that guy. Oh, what's he hunting? Okay? I want to see what he's hunting for you guys So let's just see what he's hunting. I should be able to sneak on him quite easily here. Okay, when he's when he's when he's on when he's hunting it. Okay, there's a moose. See that? That's what he's hunting. He's, he's hunting the moose. Um, I believe hunt mooses do run away eventually, but they don't run too far. Let's just try and stay away from this guy. Try and sneak up on him. Okay, let's just see here. So yeah, moose is spawned right below St. Paul, or is this near to the native spawn camping area? I believe. Um, okay, he, there he is see him yeah so this is where the bears and the wolves spawn in this area little here um but let's just sneak up on him oh god 
Okay, he he he's aimed it. He's aimed it. <gasps> no, come back here, boy. Come back here. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. Oh dear, I'm dead. I am very dead. Oh, okay, I don't have any bandages. I need bandages. I need bandages. No, I'm gonna die. No, not my stuff. Oh, he, oh, he died. He died. Yes, I don't get looted. Woo, Jesus. Well, yep, at least I don't get looted. You're a pain. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but I'll come back for that loose pelt. Okay, guys, so it's the next day in real life. It, this video has been taking so long to record. Um, so, the, you just want to come right side of St. Paul. And basically what you want to do is you want to start working your way over to these different spawn areas over here they shouldn't be too hard to see because you will see the animals on over there so you should be able to pretty see them pretty easily i feel like um they're pretty near to forester's grove as i explained in my map so you should be able to see them if you just start working your way over to like the valley of the spirits and yeah so let me just craft some bandages because i got looted uh, before this video started so i need to craft a bunch of new stuff again um, let me see. Alright, got it. Alright, so I just want to work your way over here. And I recommend you have a ranged thing. I haven't been using ranged, but now I learned my lesson. I'm going to start using ranged stuff. But either of you want to have, have a longbow, I recommend. Because when you're at St. Paul, you can't really get lead balls. So I don't recommend you use the um, guns and stuff. But I do recommend you use a bow. Because you can easily chop down a tree and get some wooden arrows or fire arrows. Basically, whatever you need. Um, let's just see here. You should be able to work your way, like, over towards in front of this fort. Like, over near the Forester's Grove. I believe a fox spawns there, actually. So, you should be able to see the fox and stuff if you work your way kind of over. Are those... Those are flaxseed plants. Okay. I thought they were an animal for a second. And, yeah, you can craft different arrows and stuff. So, you can craft fire arrows, metal arrows, wood arrows, and stone arrows. Um, I don't really craft fire arrows. I guess I can try crafting them. Let me see. So, let's see. I craft a pack of them. Um, let's see. I don't know if I have any wood. Let me see. Okay, here, give me a second. Here, guys. Sorry, I'm getting a bit sidetracked. Um, fire arrows. Okay, here we go. These oil soaked arrows. Okay, interesting. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find some things over here. Oh, might pick up a flex pen, might as well. Okay, so this is where the ma mahogany tree spawns right there. Amarath, maple, and a, some birch trees, I believe, spawn here as well. Um, over there, or in the forester's grove, is where the fox usually spawns. It can be any color. Um, but I believe um, black ones are really rare to find in this game. So the two rare pelts to find are the black pelts and the white pelts. So you guys really want to try and find those... Um, pelts as much as you can um if you don't find it then maybe just ask a friend or crafter or find it in the store whatever's easier for you but yeah hunting in this game is super vast and super hard to find different animals and stuff um i don't see the fox around here anywhere so let me just work my way over i suppose um and sorry if these videos are, are a bit long because I try to keep my videos long and informative and I don't, I don't really cut too much stuff out. Like all the stuff you see is raw editing and stuff, but yeah. Um, so anyway, there's oh, there's a deer over here, I guess. I guess it ran over from somewhere, but a deer usually does not spawn like right in the forest's grove. It spawns like right here. I might just use a spear. Where's my spear? Let's use a spear. Okay. Oh, yeah, my hagany tree. Okay, there we go. And you just skin it. And remember your professions. And I should get a deer pelt off this. And I recommend you just store these pelts in the bank once you get back to St. Paul. Then just reset and spawn at James Bay if you want. Um, make sure you... Um, I might cover video treasure hunting. But I've heard from a friend that if you treasure hunt, it actually gives you like more space and stuff. 
But yeah, it gives you more space and it shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay, there's another deer that spawns over there. So over in this area, I believe wolves and bears spawn right over this hill and deers and stuff spawn over there, I believe. Let me just check over this hill. All right, what is that? That is, uh, what is that? What is that? Is that pounds? It's like a pound. What is this? Someone's loot stash. Strawberries. My name is Lombo Strawberries. That's pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. There's a bear. Yep. Um, so this is where the big daddy bear spawn. You just want to watch out. Let me see. Can I skin them? No, I can't. But I'll show you guys killing it. Oh, oh dear. It's going to be pretty hard, guys. Okay, what's his remains? It looks like these people got um, wrecked by this bear over here. Oh dear, I'm 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 actually pretty scared, guys. Let me check this. Could you make mahogany and stuff? All right, I might make mahogany one later. Um, let me see. Oh dear, I'm scared. Um, well, let's get it, guys. Oh dear, here we go. Oh my God, look at all the arrows stuck in this thing. Okay, climb the thing. No, okay, good. How many arrows does this thing take? Oh, I need to refill. Okay, here. Fill, 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 fill. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> he's climbing up the hill. Oh my god, he's climbing up the hill. 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 Oh my god. I'm dead, guys. I am very much dead. Oh my god, I like this arrow. Come on. <gasps> I got him. I got him. Oh my god. Oh my god. How? Oh, and he's glitching. Oh, dear. Let's drag this bear. Oh, my God. Bro, you guys have no idea how hard that is. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Look how big this thing is. Oh, my God. I've never hunted a bear, guys. So sorry if I'm a bit excited. But, wow. Oh, my God. Okay, let's get it. I, of course, I can't get the full pout. But I believe you can make this bear into cloaks and stuff. But, um, let me... Just skin this bear. Let's see. Come on, come on. Okay, yeah. So you get, I got damage pelt, but it's okay. But you get two bear teeth, two bear meat, and a, a pelt. So yeah, it's not bad. I'm not gonna take the pelt because it's damaged. But that's where the bear spawns. Bears and wolves spawns over here, I believe. Um, if you go further along, I believe moose also spawn on these plains over here. Um, but that's pretty much this area. I feel like. Um, let me just show you guys. I guess the moose that spawns over here. Let me check my quiver. Okay, yeah, I gotta fill this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, so Bow River. This is where the um the um what is it? The deer spawn, I believe. So be able to find them here, if I'm correct. Let's see. Yeah, this is where deer spawn. Okay. How did I miss that? I'm not gonna hit that. Let's just take that. I am not gonna hit these shots, sir. Okay, I'm gonna just use my spear maybe for this. But yeah, so this is where moose spawn. Um, of course, to distinguish them, the moose have big antlers and stuff, while the deer have smaller antlers. Um, let me see this thing. Got it. Alright. Um, let me just skin this. I believe I can send it. Okay. So, I don't see any moose around here, but I do believe this is actually one of the spots here. Because when I was hunting with my friends, we actually found some moose over here. So, yeah. It pretty much covers the um, this area of, like, the moose and stuff. Um, let's see. Let me grab this. I believe the native's camp is somewhere in that direction. Um, so if you guys just walk a little bit further along here, you guys should run into it actually pretty easily. Um, but I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Um, I know this was a really long video. Um, as I'm saying this, I don't, I haven't edited it yet, so I won't know how long it will be. But if you guys can just watch a little bit of it, maybe find what's helpful. Tell me down below in the comments what was your most helpful part. Um, I would really appreciate that. And 
you guys enjoyed leave a like and subscribe and i have my group link down in the description of this video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one see ya